Hello Sycamore, happy Friday. Today is September 8th, 2023, and welcome to this episode of our daily video announcements. I'm Chloe. And hi, I'm Gabby. We're so excited to be here with you all on the daily video announcements. Now let's please stand, place a hand over our heart, and honor this amazing country as we say the Pledge of Allegiance together. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you all, and please be seated. Next, our Athletes of the Week. Hi, Aviator Nation. My name is Mr. Stern. I have a couple of dual roles here at, well, couple and dual. I guess that kind of means the same thing. I hold a couple of positions here at the junior high. I'm the dean of students, so I deal a lot with discipline, um, but I'm also the athletic director, so I also get to deal a lot with sports. And I'll be coming on announcements uh, quite a bit to talk about um, some issues uh, that are going on. We'll, we'll do a, a segment called Stern's Mailbox every once in a while. I also uh, partake in character awards uh, with Mr. Rodriguez, and I also get to do something which I'm doing today, uh, which is a thrill, which is our Athlete of the Week. So the Athlete of the Week, I've got Finn Sedgwick here, and this is from your soccer coach, actually from Mr. Brenner and Coach Tanaka. It says, this week's male Athlete of the Week is Finn Sedgwick. As an 8th grade grader, Finn has stepped up and taken a leadership role as one of the captains of the junior high boys soccer team. He always gives 100% on every drill and played all 60 minutes during our scrimmage against Princeton. And we were kind of talking today, they have their third match against Princeton, and you lost a scrimmage, yeah. you've tied, so there's only one thing you haven't done yet which hopefully will happen today, and that is a win against Princeton. Thanks to Finn, the team tied Princeton with a beautiful direct goal from outside the 35-yard line. Since communication is key for a successful team, Finn has grown in communicating with the team on and off the field. Finn exemplifies respect, responsibility on a daily basis, important PBIS character traits here at the junior high. He demonstrates respect by listening to the coaches when they speak and having eye contact. Finn leads, for example, by following instructions and putting forth the best effort at all times. Coach Tanaka and Coach Brenner want to thank Finn for being a role model and joy to coach this season. That was really nice. Gosh, if my coach just said one of these things, I would have been thrilled. But uh, definitely, you're doing a great job here at the junior high and a great job with soccer. So, uh, Finn, we want to present you with this certificate. And a free one large topping pizza from Papa John's as well. Congratulations. Thank you. That's awesome. And our second recipient, this is Avery Kelly. How's it going, Avery? It's good. How yeah? are you? Good. School year's off to a good start? Yeah. Fantastic. So Avery, this is from your coach. It says, Avery is the most hardworking athlete. She listens to everything that is asked of her and always gives 110%. So Avery, if I didn't mention, she is also a soccer player as well. She takes her time with drills at practice so she can really work on skills and apply them to games. She continuously keeps eye contact with coaches. That's kind of interesting. That, that was kind of mentioned in, in both with the eye contact. And I know that that can be something really difficult to do, um, especially with somebody who's older than you. But it always is a sign of respect when you can make eye contact with someone. Uh, she continually keeps eye contact with the coaches while instruction is being given. She works extremely hard at practice to try new things and make her a better athlete. She's a prime example of what it means to be a Sycamore aviator on and off the field. She cheers on her teammates, helps gather equipment. She's respectful and always has a smile on her face, and she does. So uh, from Coach Adams and uh, Coach Heil as well, they had a lot of really great things to say about you. So, Avery, a certificate for you. Congratulations. Yay! And a free one large topping pizza from Papa John's. Congratulations. Hey, those are our two athletes of the week. Um, keep paying attention. Again, I'll be back on for segments such as our, our character awards and Stern's Mailbox. Um, have a great week. Congrats to our athletes of the week, and thanks, Mr. Stern. Next up, birthdays! Happy birthday to Max N and Julian K. Also, happy birthday to those celebrating over the weekend, Liam M and Richard C.
Next up, Happy Flamingo Friday! Hello students and staff, the counseling office wants us to know today that today is the very last day to submit requests for schedule changes. The only changes that we'll make for are, for example, errors in student schedule change or specific elective requests. Again, the Sycamore Junior High does not grant changes based off requested lunch or friend requests. Please email your counselor if you have any questions. International Club, the informational meeting for the International Club will be held in room 2254, Miss Wolford's room. Today during Flexbell, go, go join them and learn what they do at International Club. Report to your Flex first, then come to the meeting. If unable to attend, email Miss Wolford for questions. Dungeons and Dragons Club. Pl plan on attending a brief informational meeting today. Again, that's today in the cafeteria during Flexbell. The club will meet once per week through March. If you can't make the meeting, please be sure to sign up with this Google Classroom code, O-H-E-E-B-I-O. Map testing is next week. Make sure to power down your computer device all the way today during Flexbell. If you power down correctly, you will have to re-log in with your username and password. Do this before map testing days. Next Tuesday, September 12th, and Wednesday, September 13th on testing days. All students go their first bell, although some may get a movement ticket. Make sure you charge your laptop and understand the bell schedule will be different on testing days. As you see, we will be testing in the morning, then go to bell one, then bell two, and then you will go to bell five so we can eat lunch. After bell five we lunch and lunch, we go to bell three, then four, and then six, and last seventh. So basically, we're just moving bell five out of the order to follow the bell two. Yes. FTC Robotics. Hope to see you at Loveland High School tomorrow for the season kickoff event starting at 9 a.m. Check your emails and go sick more robotics. Planning ahead. We hope to see you at the family orientation September 13th, next Wednesday evening. Seventh grade families will tour from 5.30 p.m. to 6.30 p.m. and our 8th grader families will tour between 7 and 8. Saturday, September 16th is Tag Day. Wait, what is Tag Day? Uh, tag Day is where the band and orchestra students go around in their neighborhood and try to collect money for either band or orchestra. September 28th is our Glowathon. Keep fundraising for our school clubs and activities. The goal is to get $40,000. Well, that's all for us right now, but also, who day? Good morning, Sycamore. Happy Friday. It's Mr. Cole again. Hey, I've got two messages this morning. The first one, uh, my understanding was that there were some people walking through the hallways disrupting class. Um, you know, really, we're about learning here, and we just... If you're in the hallways, try not to disrupt what's going on in the classroom. Second thing, uh, this morning got a uh, Glowathon update. So with the Glowathon update, we have now raised over fifteen thousand uh, dollars, and we had a drawing this uh, morning for students who had already raised over a hundred dollars. Uh, so we have some homework passes uh, that we're going to be handing out. So uh, we'll follow up with an email to these students, uh, Juna, Liz, uh, Eli, Carson, and Bryson. Uh, we're going to send you guys an email with some homework passes. Um, next week we have a competition. And the competition is going to be by flex spell. And the flex spell that has the highest percentage of students who have raised over $100 uh, are going to get candy next Friday, a whole bunch of it. Uh, we're going to have more and more of these competitions coming out. Don't forget, with the Glowathon, remember that these uh, funds are being raised for you for clubs, sports, um, and activities. Uh, have your parents create an account. Every student creates an account, gets a free T-shirt. And uh, we'll see you guys on Monday. Hey, Adrian. How do you know if a flamingo is blushing? How? You don't. <sighs> Remember to follow PBIS expectations and be the best version of yourself. Have a great day, Sycamore, and go, go Waves!